up everybody so i got this fish about four months ago and i actually never planned on having it because well i mean look at it it's a literal turd with eyes on it don't be deceived by pictures of it online you've probably seen something like this but in reality you'll see something like this at the fish store i originally wanted a starry bunny and i was so set on having one i ended up waiting a year before i chalked that up you could say hey why don't you buy it online uh shipping not to say i didn't find a starry bunny they're just too big, like really big, like hot dog size big, or cost way too much. One day, I finally bit the bullet and settled for a lawnmower bunny, but then it passed like a couple days later in quarantine. <sighs> Back to square one. Months passed by, and when I went to the store, I see a tailspot bunny for $20, and Skinny Pockets Me bought it, because why not? So I took him home, did all the acclimation things, and plopped him in the tank. Mind you, this bunny was really small like deer dropping size small. Sorry. The damsel challenged him and he surprisingly fought back. I was proud of the little guy. And to be honest, I pretty much did no research prior to buying this fish because they're so irrelevant to me, but basically they're like algae bunnies except they don't look as good. Like at least the algae bunnies got some eyelashes. One big advantage however is that they stay small at a max size of two and a half inches, unlike the algae bunny which can grow to a whopping five inches. Get this little turd wrong though. This thing got an insane appetite. I don't know where it comes from, but let's just say this guy took care of my green hair algae problem in my 75 gallon tank. Obviously, as you can tell, there's a lot of it on the rock work. It seems like this guy can only eat on smooth surfaces, but regardless, it helped a lot with my green hair algae problem. For a fish the size of a finger, being able to clear a part of a 75 gallon in a week or two is no normal feat. Now, I didn't have a crazy algae problem, but that amount of algae in a smaller tank would be considered overrun. As an algae eater, I don't believe this fish is worth getting for a small tank. If you get a fish like mine, by the time it eats all the algae, you're going to be supplementing it with algae, which just ruins the whole point of having it. But if you just want a bunny, the tailspot bunny is a much better alternative than the algae bunny, because it needs less food and less space. I could have got lucky, but I think this fish's best attribute is the fact that it's got balls. It can fend for itself despite its size, and it's not very aggressive, even if it was, pigs would fly if this was an actual threat to a normal sized fish. I think this fish is an overall good choice for beginners like me, though take my advice with a grain of salt because this is literally one of the first bunnies I kept. Though most of my liking for this fish is because of its utility, you know, because it's eradicated most of the algae in my tank, I'd say I've come around and I'm pretty happy that I bought this little guy. Since I added this fish, he's always been full and I've never seen him with a regularly sized stomach. So make sure to keep these guys well fed and have plenty of algae in your tank for this to feed on. If not, make sure to supplement their diet with nori or algae tablets. In the end, this is a great choice for a small fish. And next time, I won't wait a year to not buy this fish.